Hey you guys, it's Jenna with Queen of Diamonds. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're returning, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here to show you the paint jump kit I'm doing for the month of September. It's a mystery kit. I've never done a mystery diamond painting before. I've done mystery dills, mystery boxes, but I've never done a mystery kit. I have a lot of anxiety about it actually, but it's gonna be really fun and I'm excited to try it. The edition that I'm doing from Paint Gem is Mystery Edition 3.0. I don't wanna ruin the surprise for anybody, so when it gets time for me to open the folder where the actual canvases are, I will let you know so that you can fast forward. I don't, like I said, I don't wanna ruin it. I'll give you a spoiler alert. So anyway, let's get into the box and see what we've got. Here is our Paint Gem Mystery Edition 3.0. This is gonna be really fun. So they look a little different than the normal Paint Gem kits the sleeve that is on the box is a little plain, more plain than the normal sleeves on the other editions. Let me show you what I mean. These are two editions that my daughter has done. So we've got the tile edition and then the insect edition. See how the sleeve has a little preview of what you can expect with the canvases on the inside. We've got the insects here and the tiles here. This mystery edition does not have any kind of teaser or anything like that because they don't wanna ruin the surprise for you. So I think that's really cool. And on the back, I noticed also that it has these question marks. Paint Gem always lists the designs on the back. And in this case, they have question marks and they only say design. There are 16 of them, so 16 canvases. On these, Tile Edition also says design because you can't really tell what each of the tiles is. There's no name for them. But for example, on the Insects Edition, it'll tell what each of the insects are. On like the flowers, it tells what each of the flowers are so that you know which canvas is called what. I think that's really cool. So each of the images is listed on the back with the title, except in a case like this where they're just designs. So. That is the difference between the normal editions and the mystery edition. And like I said, there are 16. This is gonna be really fun, I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna take the sleeve off and we'll take a look at the actual box. And like I said, when it comes time to open the folder where the actual canvases are, I'll let you know ahead of time so that you can fast forward. All right, this is the Paint Gem kit, really cute. I love the presentation of Paint Gem, a very simple box with this black writing on it. Right here, we've got paintgem.com where you can go to find other sets right there and on the back. Then on this side, this is plain. I think that's just a paint gem uh, sticker right there, like a manufacturer number. On the back, we've got a QR code that you can scan on your phone for a step-by-step -step video tutorial. All right, and then this is fun. So paint gem, you just flip the little flap open and inside we've got this cute box that's gray, it says relax through creativity, and here are our contents. So Paint Gem kits, their toolkits are really fun. They've got a plain white canvas bag that matches the overall theme of the whole Paint Gem experience with the black writing that says Paint Gem right there. It's a nice quality canvas bag with a drawstring. And here are our drills. The drills look really colorful, I love it. That's fun. I love the way Paint Jam packages their drills. They are in individual Ziploc bags, which is nice. I'm going to break this open so I can show you the quality of their drills. Paint Jam kits are always square drills. They do not have any round, so keep that in mind. However, Paint Jam is great for beginners. I love that they are very usually very simple images, even though they are square. My kids have absolutely loved Paint Jam. They were a little intimidated by the square, but they love them. So here are their drills. I love the quality of Paint Jam square drills. I think they're really nice quality, very pretty, lots of really bold colors. I'm loving it. That's a pretty blue. And they do not have any specialty drills. Paint Gem never comes with any kind of specialty drills. I do know that like, I haven't experienced the um, mini dazzlers from Diamond Art Club. I think that's what they call them. They're similar to Paint Gem in the sense that they're little canvases and they come in sets. I haven't done any of those, but I know they come chock full of specialty drills. In fact, I think they're all fairy dust drills if I'm not mistaken. Now, Paint Gem does not have any specialty drills in it, but a lot of people like to enhance the Paint Gems. I've never done that myself, but I think that would be really fun. So there are our 
Thrills. And like I said, they are packaged in Ziploc bags. You don't even need to kit these up if you don't want to. You can just work out of the Ziploc bags. I don't like to do that myself because I'm a little klutzy and I have um, a habit of spilling a lot more when they're in the Ziploc bags. So I prefer storage containers. But like I said, if you would like to do that, you can use it. A lot of people really like working out of the Ziploc bags because you don't have to kit up or kit down. So that is a nice feature. All right, I'm gonna put those off to the side. Here's our folder with the canvases. I'm not gonna open this yet, so don't panic. There is our folder and the canvases are inside here. We'll get into that in just a moment. And here are our pre-cut stickers. This is really cool. So Paint Gem sends pre-cut stickers that you can use to kit up. Very nice, very convenient for kitting up. You just peel those back and stick them on the correct colors in here. Very fun, there's lots of colors. That's really great, very colorful. All right, I'm gonna put these back in here and let's take a look at our toolkit. I'm gonna to move that off to the side. So these toolkits are really very fine to use for diamond painting. I have not actually done a paint gem kit using only what's in here, but you can. I use upgraded tools at this point, upgraded tools and accessories, but what comes in here is just fine if you are just starting out or you're not interested in upgrading, everything in here will work just fine for completing your paint gem kit. So we've got a tray. This is just a very simple white tray. And I like how they have the funnels so that you can easily get your drills back into the containers or the Ziploc bags. So that's nice. Here we have a standard diamond painting pen with a squishy. So the squishy just slides on to give your fingers comfort while you're diamond painting. They are always the same color. You've got kind of a sparkly pen here and a black squishy. These are the multi-placers that they send. They give you a couple of different options to use if you'd like to try placing more than one drill at a time. You've got a three placer and I think that's a 10. I'm not really sure. But these just slide onto the tip of your diamond painting pen and you've got a multi-placer. Keep in mind, these are the thicker multi-placers. I don't like, I don't really care to use these because they are so wide. It makes placing the diamonds a little bit harder. I like the thinner plastic um, multi-placers, but again, these will work. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just a preference. I, I just feel like they're a little too wide myself, but you can use those. So a couple of different options there for multi-placing. Then you have a pair of plastic tweezers. I prefer using the metal tweezers myself when I'm using a square kit because tweezers are great for picking up the squares and placing them on the canvas. You get a really good, clean, crisp line when you do it that way. Um, I prefer, like I said, the metal tweezers, but these will work if you're just starting out and you want to try placing your drills with the tweezers. And then here is our wax. If you're not going to be using an upgraded wax or putty, this wax is great and it's enough to complete your entire paint gem kit. It's not gonna come out right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. So it comes in this cute little plastic caddy, which is nice. And here is your wax. If you want to use this wax, you just make sure you peel the plastic back before you try to use it. And that is our toolkit in a nutshell. So I'm gonna put everything back in here and we will move forward. So I will try to put a timestamp on this video so that if you are wanting to watch the end after I've looked at the canvases, you're welcome to do that. And then you can just fast forward to the timestamp. I think that's probably gonna be the best way to do it. But I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So this is your final spoiler warning. I'm going to be opening these now. Let's take a look. Oh, for those of you who haven't fast forwarded yet, I want to show you the folders that these come in. So I'm just going to off camera get these canvases out. I'm not even going to look at them yet. And then let's take a look at the folder that the canvases come in. These are really fun. Again, very nice presentation. Up here we've got tips and tricks. Here we've got eight steps. So four here and four here for how to diamond paint. And then we've got what's included and it tells everything that's included in your paint gem box. And then here we've got a QR code for a chat with their team. Very nice. And on the back, the step-by-step -step video tutorial QR code. That's what your canvases will come in. So that's cool. All right, final warning, you guys. I'm gonna show you these canvases. So if you don't want to see them, just fast forward to the timestamp that I'm going to put on here.
All right, let's take a look. These are going to be really fun. I do know what to expect a little bit because I saw in the description on the Paint Gem site when I was ordering these what they are. So I know that they are bottles, but that's all I know. <laughs> oh, they are black and white. Okay, so what's really fun is when the mystery kits come black and white like that, it makes it so that you can't see what you're diamond painting until you're until you're done. <laughs> and so the colors will be these drills that came with the kit, but you're not going to be able to make out what it is until you're a good portion of the way through. So that's really fun. Now they are bottles, but what's inside the bottles is the mystery. That's really fun. I can't tell. I really can't. They've done a really good job of disguising these. Uh, you guys might be able to look at it and tell. I can't tell what it is. Okay, so that's our first one. Here's our second one. That looks like a windmill, I think. Yeah, I'm seeing a windmill. I can't tell what that one is. I don't know. Maybe a moon? It's in a little curve right there. I'm not sure. Cool. I love all the different shapes of the bottles. That's really fun. Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing maybe a house. I kind of see a roof right there, maybe. This is a really fun shape. That's cool. And then this one, that's fun. It's like a swirly on the inside. That's cool. Then we've got this one. Interesting, I really can't make out what these are, you guys. I'm trying, I don't know. Okay. That looks like a house again, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of see a little roof right there. No. This is a cute shaped bottle, a star. And I can't tell what's on the inside of that one either. Okay. And then that's fun. I love all the different shapes of the, bo of the bottles. These are gonna be really fun to display together. I'm not really sure how I will display them when I'm all done. Maybe a collage of some kind or a frame that has lots of different slots. I don't know, it's gonna be really fun to see these when they're all done, that's cool. Okay, this is gonna be really fun. I'm very intrigued by this. I think that's a butterfly. I think I see a butterfly in there. That looks like a flower. Cool. And I have no idea what that is, I can't tell. I don't know, I see kind of circular shapes right there. And then this one, I don't know. I have no idea. And then this last one, I can't tell. <laughs> okay, these are gonna be really fun. So I'm super excited to give these a try and let you know what I've thought of them. Let me put them away for those who have fast forwarded. Okay. These are going to be awesome. I can't wait to do these and to see how colorful they are and pretty. So you guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. If you are interested in Paint Jam, I'll put a link for their shop in the description of the video. And that's it. I'm really excited. So you'll see these if you are interested in seeing the final outcome of these. I will show them in my mid-month whip parade. I won't be done with them by then, but I'll have a couple of done, a couple of them done, I hope. And I will have the completed set in my month in review at the end of September. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.